Okay, let's get to the hardware next. Um, so in front we have four buttons. Basically this is your escape button, this is your enter button and um, also the plunger for uh, during gameplay. Um, it would have been nice to have an actual plunger you can pull but um, you do have some control over the um, speed of launch uh, by yeah, just by pressing the button longer. Um, right side, left side is the same of course. We have our flipper button, a notch button and an extra button. In this case this one is mapped to a notch forward. Okay, we have the monitor. I will slide it out in just a minute. At the back we have just an opening for the monitor's power supply, an indentation right here to place the laptop, and a hole for, in this case, the HDMI cable. On the other side, we have a hole for the USB cable that is attached to the buttons. Okay, um, I'm going to put the camera down for just a second and slide uh, the monitor out. Um, talking about sliding the monitor out, I um, I don't know if you can see it, but um, I deliberately left the uh, the rear end of the cabinet open so I uh, can slide it out in case I need to fix something, um, the monitor gets broken, or if uh, I need to do something about the buttons. Okay, one sec. So uh, as you can see, I slid out the monitor quite a bit. Um, to finish off the monitor stuff, it's a bit cramped in here, but I should be able to reach. Yeah, here it is. <coughs> so as you as you can see, uh, the monitor doesn't have its frame anymore, uh, but I kept part of the frame, um, the part that contains the power button and the buttons for um, the contrast and the brightness and stuff so I probably should get my um, fire insurance updated because of this but anyway I still have all the buttons that uh, were on the monitor original okay um, what you see here is just a piece of wood that's under the same angle as the monitor for support and on both sides here, but you can see it better here I guess I have uh, some kind of rail where the monitor sits on so uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't move around because that probably wouldn't be a good idea and finally um, here in the front we have um, the control panel for all the buttons uh, with the USB cable attached to USB cable that comes out of here and uh, is connected to the laptop. <clears throat> I will get into more detail um, about this controller when we um, when we discuss the software. Uh, one thing I should note right now is that um, I just connected 10 buttons to the 10 first slots on the control panel. So basically this is button 1, button 2, button 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so uh, yeah, basically it's, uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, in the next video we will take a look at the software.